Welcome back to the channel, everybody. I'm here with Morgan Egloff. We're doing a one-on-one -on -one match. It's a nine hole competition straight up. Let's go. Our very first hole, technically game number two out here at the Florida Club. It's 360 yards. We're gonna go at it with a little four iron. Yep. Hang on. Uh, it's drawn. Might be in that bunker. Just wanna hit it somewhere out there like 240-ish. Should give you a wedge in. Wow. That should be perfect. And all. Morgan's a very good player. He played college golf at one of the schools down here in Florida called Rollins College. It's a very, very good D2 college golf school. So this is going to be a good match. I'm excited for it. Morgan, thanks for coming on the channel. Absolutely. Thank you for having me. Well, let's get after it. I got 120. I got a 55 degree wedge. Um, I hit this about 110 full. So hoping for a little skip forward and it's a little downwind. Kick left. Sure. I must have got like a really crappy balance because I went through the fairway in this position here. So 101 yards to the hole. I got to get up kind of quick over these branches right here. So I'm going to go at it with a 60. I probably normally wouldn't hit a 60 in this situation, but I really got to send this up north pretty fast. So get up there. Ah. Oh, right. that actually went. All right, Morgan, what's the lowest score you shot? Could yeah. be in a tournament, could be just messing around. Yeah, uh, I shot 60 at my home course back in DC in 2017, 10 under. Uh, made a bogey and nine birdies and an eagle. Were you ever like um, nervous, I guess? Or did you I was in the zone? I, was that, I can honestly remember that day, I was just really in the zone. I think on 18, I was a little nervous and there was yeah. trouble right. And I hit it way left, but there was nothing over there. So then I knocked it up there. And I remember I just putted the lights out that day. Honestly, guys, that's where like, you can really separate yourself if you're like Morgan and, and trying to qualify for the PGA Tour. Like you really need to learn how to go low. And that's honestly what I stress to people about a lot, especially if they're in like high school, trying to, trying to get like a little college spot. Like don't necessarily not care about like your bad rounds. Just try to go as low as you possibly can. Looks like it's gonna swing pretty hard to the left here, so. I'm gonna play a good amount of break. Yeah, I did break really hard left. Good speed though. I will give that one to you if you want it. Actually? Yeah. You're too kind. It's the first you're hole. too kind. I'll take all the help I can get, to be honest. Got about 15 feet for birdie. Just focus on putting a good stroke on it. And that was not a good stroke on Dude, it. Dude, that thing swan that move a lot moved a lot more than i thought that's good by me too through one all square on to hole number two all right so we pulled an audible decided morgan should drive yeah so you're gonna have to lug all this equipment around all right uh 199 this is probably one of the tougher holes out here at the florida club <laughs> yeah i was gonna say if they all look like this then i'm in trouble uh they definitely don't this is okay. one of the harder ones so gosh that is right on it if it's the number Oh God, there's a ton of wind up there. Yeah, I didn't keep it low enough. I'm gonna go at it with that four iron. It just feels like there's a ton of wind up there. And if I, if I hit a fire iron, I'm just gonna come up way short. Oh, I felt like I was leaving out right and just kind of saved it. Okay, yeah, I'm on the car box. Are you? Where are you? <laughs> way over there. This is gonna be fun, guys. I honestly have no idea how I got here. <laughs> I think it hit like the car path or something. That was pretty, pretty good from That's there. That's good, it's just way too far. See, this hole's not that hard, but I'm just making it look way harder than it actually is. Just gonna try to get this one cozied up there. Ooh, that nice. came out. Oh. Very nice. Thanks. Ah. Yep. Pretty just kind of skirted off right. Guys, don't give me crap in the comments, but I'm marking it with a T. Well, downhill right to lefter, just playing it. Pretty much at the right edge. Money. Better stroke than the last hole. Morgan, one up through two. I'll take three on that hole all day. That hole always gets me. Now we got a little par five, so. Oh, nice. Downwind, just gonna kinda try to hit this one hard. Ooh, that is on a rope. That one was hit good. Great shot. This is a par five. 
So we, we could get this on in two. It'll be nice. Pure. It's, it's like Dope. a bullet, dude. <laughs> it's so low. Oh, it's perfect. Could be in the rough. We'll see. We'll see when we get up there. So Morgan, why professional golf? What's your what's your why? Everyone everyone talks about their whys, you know? The simple answer is like it's always what I wanted to do. Ever since I was like 10, I wanted to be a professional golfer and as I got older I realized alright I can play, you know, and at the uh, at a high level and as a junior and then I realized alright I can play in college and then I realized in college like hey I'm you know I'm good enough to to give it a try as a pro and the first year and a half have been tough for me uh, as a professional golfer but I feel uh, recently I started working with a new swing coach I have a new approach when I practice nice. and everything seems to be going to be going really well and honestly the biggest thing I attribute that to is just the attitude of it might take some time and just kind of taking things one step at a time. I'm not going to get on the PGA Tour tomorrow or a week or a month. You know, it might yeah. take a few years. And having that attitude uh, really helps. And I guess to go back to the question of what's my why is like I've always dreamed about walking up the 18th hole with a lead and being in contention. I think that that feeling would be pretty unmatched. So if there's one why, I'd say that's probably it. Enough said. That was sick. Okay, 146. Downwind, fly or lie. My mind is in a pretzel right now, Morgan. My pitching wedge normally goes like 137. So I think, I, I think, crazy enough, I think I could get a sandwich there. Par five driver sandwich, but we'll see, we'll see. Hopefully this comes out good. Oh, a flyer indeed. Oh, oh wow, a little short. I was on a rope though. Yeah. All right, 146, got a pitching wedge which usually goes about 135. I'm gonna give it a little extra here. Sit, sit. Wow, that's uh, pretty darn good right there. Caught it, honestly, a groove low, but no one needs to know that. Especially after seeing that being stuck to five feet, I don't need to know that. What do you think the best part of your game is? Uh, when my game's at its best, I would say short irons and wedges, just distance control. What do you do to work on distance control? I have like a little clock system, so I'll just hit shots with my clock system to kind of get the feel, and then I do uh, just a little game inside of 100 yards where I'll uh, hit shots, like seven different shots, and you try to get it within 5% of the yardage. So if you have like a 60 yarder, you try to get it within nine feet. Hmm. Um, and you try to average 5% because that's like, that would be top of the PGA Tour. So like it's a good that. game to kind of see where you're at. And but yeah, I'd say that's the, uh, that's the strength of my game's on. All right, guys, I need to try to chip this thing because Morgan is in there pretty tight. Woo, sit. Oh, subtle. I just didn't bite. All right, Morgan, just, just show off here. <laughs> just show off. All Give right, the people what just, they want. Just outside the hole here, I think. Snuck it in there. Sweet. Oof. That deserves a, deserves a little round of applause. That was sick. Thanks, bro. Nice eagle, bro. Thank you. That was dope. Okay, Morgan, two up through three holes. Um, this is personal preference. You can hit driver. However, the out of bounds on the left down there comes in pretty quick with driver. Mm -hmm. And there's out of bounds right too. So I just kind of like to hit hybrid. Gives me a little bit more room, uh, especially downwind today. If it's into the wind, I'll hit driver, but Downwind hit hybrid today. Yeah, you're probably coming with more of a full shot, right? Yeah. Downwind. Exactly. Wow. Not what we had in mind there. <laughs> I saw a bounce. But it is on yeah. land. Is that like fine? Yeah, totally okay. fine. All right, I'm just going to kind of try to do the same. Perfect. Is that okay there? Yeah, perfect. All right, sweet. Sometimes I shoot it and then I just forget what I shot. Oh, dude, that happens to me all so, the time. So actually, I have pretty much the same shot as the last hole. 144. Uh oh. Downwind. I'm gonna hit the same shot. Little pitching wedge. Come in there. Did not draw. Just hanging out right. Gosh, I hit that forearm a long way. So yeah, 125 yards to the pin. It is back pin today, so you don't want to correct me if I'm wrong, but you don't want to go long. No. Yeah, so it's downwind, 125. I hit this club about like 118. So I think this is actually a good number here. Oh, I trapped it. Okay, I got about like a 20 footer left for birdie. 
Morgan barely caught the right edge of the green here. So this one, there's a pretty big ridge here. So this one, I'm, I usually line up my putts, uh, but this one I'm going no line. Just trying to find the spot where I want to die it up on the hill. Are you a linear or non-linear putter? Linear. I like to see a line. Yeah. And I like to see it curve off that line. Yeah, gotcha. But on a putt like this, like my line will just be to like a spot. And so yeah. I'll like- You just see it die off that spot? Yeah, exactly. I'm the same exact way. We didn't get it high enough. I learned a lot from that putt there by Morgan. Looks like it's gonna break a lot to the left here. Oof. Wow, always hit too hard. Oh, this guy's just too good. Very nice, right in the center. Oh, you do not want those putts <laughs> to stay far all day. Okay, no blood on that hole. Morgan still remains two up, through four. Got a par three here. Give me a hole in one, why not? All right, 167. I'm a little confused. Thought the wind was gonna be straight off the right, but it feels more down. And if yeah, it's it down, it's a good eight iron. That's it. Yeah, I think it, it is pretty downwind. I got a nine. Yeah. I hit my irons pretty far though. Yeah. Oh my God, go in. Go in. One time. That's it. Jesus. Holy shit. That is a lot of wind. All right, Morgan's there. We both have pretty lengthy putts here. Morgan is a little closer, so it is me. I have honors here. Okay, this is, this putt's just all about speed here. If it happens to go in, then that's an absolute miracle. Subtle. Solid. That yes, one. let's go. That one is good. Let's go, gimme's. Someone. Someone had a bad day. I think, or someone flew it in the hole. Didn't get it high enough. Yeah. I don't know, I kinda wanna see you put that one. Yeah. I mean, if you weren't two up, then I probably would've given it to you, but. They make you put them on Sundays, so. Yeah, exactly, this is true. Your next interview when you're on the Masters, you'll be like, what'd you, what'd you do to get ready? You know what? <laughs> <laughs> I really have to give a lot of credit to the CEO of golf. He really got me prepared for this event. I'll shout you out. Okay. Easy money. <laughs> Saw that little thing on the right side of the cup and I at the last second was like, all right, let's go left edge. Oh, really? It's never a good thing to do on short putts. <laughs> yeah, it's your last, last second thoughts. Yeah, last second thoughts are not good. You want to keep your head as clear as possible. Try to not think as much as you can out here. Morgan remains two up through five holes. Morgan's not going to give me anything. I need, I need to make it. You just, it's a pretty tight tee shot, but it's a good, this is why I kind of like playing out here. It's a good tee shot to practice pressure and you know practice hitting where there's a lot of trouble so yeah this is actually a shot i've been practicing that i'm going to hit it's a real Ooh. uh low t driver shot that i'm going to just try to really cover and kind of keep low under the wind Exclusive. and keep it in play kind of like a fairway finder shot i like it down it's not cutting it didn't cut it might be okay, it might be out of bounds, so. Okay. Who knows? <laughs> I, on the other hand, do not have that shot in the bag. So I'm just gonna full send it. Full send rippers. Oh, hang on. Uh, it's hazard on the right, so. Is there room over there? Mm, no. Stayed in bounds, thank God. <laughs> not by a lot. Uh, but we got 88 yards and just gonna hit little like sand wedge uh it's a little into the wind so just gonna keep one a little lower looking good stay okay. i went in the hazard guys so i'm gonna take a drop right here get ready for my very masculine drop the ladies love the drop 70 yards let's stick her in close here come on set Golly, man. If you guys are ever in the Jupiter or Stewart area, definitely worth stopping by the Florida Club. Come on here, it's a good vibe. Gosh, I just, <laughs> if you don't get enough pace over that hill, it just snags it. <laughs> really just got a two putt, but I would like to make it.
Mm. Oh, you had it. Had it, just left it a little short. Morgan is three up through six. So I'm technically dormy here. So I'm gonna press here, if that's all right with you. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, we're gonna play for push-ups. Right. Yeah, I probably need some, so <laughs> that's probably good. Okay, sweet. So loser of these next three holes has to do, what do you say, 10 push-ups? Perfect. Is that fair? Yeah. Okay. Sounds There's water left, OB right, so kind of another hole where you gotta really just kind of sack up and hit a good one. Ooh, gosh, that's so good. That is so good. Thanks. I hit a cut on the last hole, so I'm gonna play that little cut. Holy Hang crap. On. Hold your line. I think her, it should be okay. Her tree. Do you have any big plans for this next year? Uh, I'm gonna play Canada, um, PGA Tour Canada Q School qualifying um, in June. And then I'm gonna play Corn Ferry Tour qualifying in the fall. And uh, that's kind of what I got on the agenda as of now. I'm playing a few PGA Tour Mondays in the in the spring, so oh, nice. if I get hot, like, and get into <laughs> some of those, like, that would be, that would be obviously sweet. very, very cool. You can follow his journey. Go to his Instagram. Uh, Instagram and TikTok. Instagram and TikTok. Yeah, and yeah. I'll put his ads right here, and I'll put it in the description below too. You'll find him there. I have a four iron. I'm about 230 yards out. Just not a not a great angle here. Lost it. Water. Where is I it? I, I think I saw it splash. In the water? Yeah. Okay. So got like 221 flag, but there's a bunker up there that's 198 to cover. So I've got a five iron and just gonna kind of hit it right at the flag and there's a little wind down off the left. So if it carries it a little right, that's okay. Wow. I can't see anything in the sun. Uh, Pretty fine there. Yeah. I got like 85 yards to the pin here. Mm, pretty good. Man, that was hit so good too. I gotta make this one time. Do it. Oh. Oh. Tough to read these greens. Kind of like the line I put down there. So we're gonna go with that. Oh, golly. Wow. Good part. Morgan wins the nine hole match, but now the three hole press starts and he is one up through one. Par four, 422. Gonna hit that low bullet. Hopefully it cuts. Not that much. Go. Should be in just that in that bunker there, right? Yeah. Yeah, it's just in that like right. Do you lift your left heel up? For more power? Um, I'm not trying to, but right now I'm trying to feel like I get pressure into my left toe. So I think that's kind of why. On the backswing? Um, or on the downswing? Like on the, yeah, on the, the transition. Downswing. Yeah, the transition, exactly. Oh, there you go. That is money. Yeah, that was a good one. Finally. Occasionally I hit a good one. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes when I feel like I have a flyer, I'll like just hit like the normal club, but I'll just like take a really short swing. Yeah. So that way if it comes off like hot, it's not gonna go that far. Yeah. But That makes know. sense. So you take like the normal club yeah. that you normally hit, just have a kind but of like just, a yeah. little three like quarter a shot? Little shoulder to shoulder shot, yeah. I like that. So I got an eight iron and it's into the wind and it's just gonna be a little, a little swing here, try to cut it into that flag. It's a little, uh, little heavy. I don't really know. It was high faced. Yeah, it just didn't come out. You can see it on the. Oh yeah, on check my, that out. Yeah. Very high faced. Just kind of high faced, but it kind of ended up pretty good. All right, so we got 140 yards. It's a little bit into the wind, back pin there. I'm just gonna hit an easy nine. I feel like this is a good number for me. Kind of just drawn. Just absolutely gorgeous. I'm talking about the golf course, Morgan. <laughs> don't don't get ahead of yourself. Yeah. Gonna... Little double breaker. I 
Just wow. didn't go Dude. right. I'll give you that. Thank you. Nice guy. All right, I learned a lot after that putt there. Got it. Got it. Wow. That felt so good. This the, that's the type of stuff that just keeps you coming back. That guys. was sick. Great putt. Thank you. One and one on those last two holes. So this final hole is for the push-up. Tied up, tied up on the push-up press. You did win the overall match, so congratulations, Morgan. Thank you. Very high achievement. I... The uh, CEO of Golf Open Invitational Championship Classic. I'm putting it on my resume of my professional <laughs> career so far. We started on hole number two and we're just gonna loop back around and play a hole number one again so you guys could see the entire front nine. All right, back to number one. Uh, it's like 3.30. I'm gonna hit like a little low squeeze cut down there. That's about perfect. Ooh. Great shot. Oh gosh, man. All right. Is that okay? It's just gonna be kind of in the right trees, but it'll be all right. Okay. All right, 73 yards, got a 60 degree here. It's a little into the wind, so I'm just gonna hit like a 75 shot-ish. That is not a good shot, folks. Well, not a good Ugh. shot for you. Well. For, for most people it is, <laughs> believe it or not. With a wedge, should hit it a little better than that, but that's yeah. all right. Somehow found it, gonna try to bump it through this bunker. <laughs> Cross our fingers. Hope for the best, right? Oh my God, go! Oh, he did it! Wow! <laughs> that was pretty darn good. That was sweet. That was, I'm reading. gonna show you the exact line here. Yeah. Uh, was, it was left right out of the gate. Just knew that would be left. Oh, this looks good. Oh my gosh. Wow, wow, that looked so good, dude. Now we both got some testers here. Yep. Oh, ice in his veins. Very nice. All right. The push-up press is halved. Thanks, sir. Thanks so much, dude. Appreciate hey, it. Thanks this for having a, me. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. We gotta do it again. Yeah, absolutely. I'm gonna do the push-ups anyway. Oh, okay. Let's go. I guess I gotta do them too now. We're going to, come on. One, two. That's the video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you smash that subscribe button. Give this video a like if you enjoyed it. And head on over to Morgan Socials. Gonna be a link in the description below. See you next time. Is that 10 million Nine. <laughs> 10. Oh, oh, people are gonna get after me about my form in the comments. That's all right. It is a bad, bad elbow, everybody. That is true.